Welcome back to Herb and Nerd. In today's episode of the Chelsea Transfer Ban Save as we start season four. So this is the saver. We are only buying 17-year-olds uh, or younger to bring into the youth team to develop through uh, to create a team of full homegrown players. It means any uh, holes we have in the team now, anyone that goes out has to be filled with a youngster that's already within our academy or a 17-year-old we can get our hands on. We are in season four now. So uh, we've had a quite a, a fair bit of movement, a fair bit of movement on players in and out. And this team is now starting to change. We're starting to see some more of the youngsters come through, which means we have a team based a lot on youth. We had an interesting season last season, didn't we? Let's be honest. Uh, it went bad towards the end. But let's not, if we if we look at it with a, with a cool mind, which I don't always do, we did make the Europa League semi-final, getting uh, knocked out, unfortunately, by Manchester United. Uh, we made the uh, Carabao, uh, the Carabao Cup semi-final as well and the FA Cup fourth round. We got knocked out by Man United. So we did quite well in competitions. Uh, we finished fourth in the league. So we do get Champions League football. So if you have a look at our schedule, We've got the Champions League group stage hitting us in September. So we find out who we get there. A nice start to the season. We're going against Everton, Watford, Brentford and Burnley. Newcastle, we don't have a big game until around those Champions League games. Man United and Tottenham in there as well as Liverpool. That's going to be brilliant. And we will finish the season uh, with games against Norwich, Burnley, Brentford, Southampton, Newcastle. So if we do go far in the Cups, uh, when we get into April, we've actually got quite a nice run there. So that's not so bad at all. So we've got a nice little season coming up. We had a good off-season. A couple of 12 nil wins in there against some absolute unknown teams. Uh, but we did beat Hamburg, we did beat Inter convincingly, and we did beat Sevilla convincingly uh, as well, which is good to see. Uh, we'll have a quick look at our, our starting eleven. Uh, we've changed the formation. I'm going to try one of these. I don't like the Flying V because I've always... I've, I used it earlier in the game. I don't like coming back to tactics. I like new things. But... I'm kind of excited to get a Regista back in. Anyone that was here for last year's game and the West Ham save that we did when we had Tonali in as a Regista and it absolutely bossed, I think that's what we're going to go back and try and create. So our midfield has had some changes. I think this is our full strength first uh, team. Kepper in goal. Uh, we've got Emerson, Christensen, Zuma and James at the back. Still got Christensen and Zuma. Neither of them went. Uh, they, uh, Christensen did have bids come in, but not high enough to really let him go. Um... Cover King is then going to drop in as a Regista. Uh, we're going to try out with Mount playing as a box to box and Bleezer playing as an AP. It'd be between him and Gilmore who plays as this AP. Uh, dropping a DLP role, which is kind of risky because uh, DLPs we know are very, always very well rated in the game. But I want someone who's going to try and get forward a little bit. Same as the box to box here. Uh, we've got the options if we want to go more attacking to flick uh, Mount to a Mitzala, push him further forward. But yeah, the Cover King from back here. Maybe can do some damage. We've then got Bellingham out on the left. He had a very good season last season. He's got lots of goals, so we're going to keep him in. Uh, and Pulisic did not leave. So I think he's going to start out on the right. Obviously, we've got Dembele that can come in as well. Dembele, uh, still only 19. But he's going to start to need more game time now to make sure he, de he develops uh, a quicker rate. You can see he's developing already quite well by all the little arrows here. So he'll be playing a little more. And then obviously Tammy up top, but willing to swap and rotate with Esposito a little more. Because Esposito, he was pretty good last time. Don't want to go to top top. Don't think we've got enough depth in uh, in the, the strikers. Uh, you'll also see there's some new names knocking about. Arthur Nieva was brought in. <coughs> just turn 18. Woohoo! Just as he came in. Uh, a ball winning midfielder, naturally. Um, but we are going to train him and play him as a fullback on the left. So he, he is going to be our fullback on attack. If you have a look, his attributes fit in quite nicely for that. He's worth 26 million. We brought him in... Um, Oh, we load him out. We've been bringing him in and load him out. I didn't realise he's out for a year. He came back in then. 16 million. We brought him in in the second season. Um, so that's that's nice to see him getting in now. 16 million pound signing. Jeez. So many guys were in and went out on loan. And when I did the team review, I forgot to look at the loanees. And they all came back. I was like, oops. Like Cherky as well. Cherky's gone back out on loan. Uh, so yeah, he's dropped into the, the first team as in the squad. So Dijon Sterling could have left. Um, so we've got him in. We've also got knocking about um, Scala Alejandro Scatolaro. 18-year-old Argentinian central defender. Looks pretty good as well. Looks pretty good like that. So he's knocking around as our second choice after Mpandu. Might send him out on load. Might not. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, <clears throat> Juan Correa as well. Been brought up. Looks like a very good DM. A very uh, He's a good Valante. He's a very defensive DM. So we're going to train him as a Regis to try and get... Um, oh, his passing and stuff is quite good. Try and get some of his attributes up as well. And he can play backup or second fiddle to Cover King. Gravenberch dropping out of the first team. 
Um, he could play multitude of roles. Maybe the Regista role. He's just tackling's not very good. So he might also come in as a box to box. We'll see what we do with him there. Uh, and also, we've brought up from the young team uh, Saka, who's a guy we brought in in the first season, uh, uh, who probably will go alone actually. And Bedford, Ben Bedford, 18 year old English player, um, who looks quite good. Again, we're going to train him up, see if we can keep him in. We've got Fiat, Brian Fiat Bemi. Um, who I think I might sell. He doesn't look like he's going to quite cut the mustard. His current ability looks ridiculous. I don't see it. I don't see it. Determination and flair is there. But we'll see how some of these guys get on in the early part of the season. If we have a look at transfers. Transfer history. We have let a lot of players go out. Uh, Joe Haig went out, a youngster. I didn't think he was going to quite cut it. Didn't quite fit for us. Uh, Eight million. But a lot of them have got either buybacks. So we buy them back for what we, paid, we sold them for. Or like percentage of sales on. Which is pretty damn good uh, and Golo Kante went to Juventus 40 million uh, they weren't happy no one was happy about that but bid came in it was a decent bid he's 31 now let's just get rid of him it stops me playing him if he's here as well uh, Zayec I pissed him off because I was trying to get rid of him as well he just didn't fit I didn't think he was as good as the other players we had he's gone on loan to Arsenal with an optional fee uh, after t I think no it's a mandatory up fee after like something like 15 or 20 games of 20 odd million uh, cheap for him I think but we couldn't get rid of him Cherky's gone out on loan he'll be back He's still young. Dujon Sterling's gone for good. 12 million for him. Backup right back, which was amazing. Conor Gallagher's gone out on loan. I was going to try and keep him, but I accidentally loaned him. Uh, Gabriel Veron. We played him a little bit last season uh, to try and see if we can get the best out of him. I didn't think he was as good as some of the others we got coming through. And also, was really kicking up a fuss um, about not playing games. He was sold to Anderlecht for 10. And Miles Pert Harris uh, went out for 20 million. I again, I didn't think he was going to quite make it, but we've got lots of clauses in on him as well. They've all gone. We've brought in... A load of youngsters, two or three of them you've seen already, Neves you've seen already, um, and a lot of these like Reynard. We've got them are coming in, uh, I've come in, and I've worth a lot, we spent a lot of money. Uh, 23 million on Reynard, uh, 24 million on Leotel. So we've brought in a left back, so we've got back up on the left. He doesn't look usually great, but he's the best of the left backs we could find. Um, we've brought in a attacking forward on the right, Neva in Nevas. Uh, Latteo, we brought in an advanced forward to another striker because we need that backup for striker. And this guy looks like he could slot in pretty soon, pretty quick. As long as his finishing and stuff improves, his composure and, and pace is there. Just a bit of finishing, it'd be good. Uh, we've brought in attacking midfielder on the left as well. So the attacking side is sorted. We've brought in uh, another left back. This one's slightly better than the first one, just in case. Because we know that is an, an area that we're going to fall short on. When Emerson goes, we haven't got a huge amount of backup on the left. Uh, Isaac Aguibodiego. Yep, this guy, the Spanish guy. Uh, a deep line forward. I, don't, I think we're going to train him somewhere else because I don't think he really fits that deep line forward role. Can't finish. But he has got very good passing and vision. So he might drop more into the midfield. And then Arnold Reynard, um, the advanced forward again. Another striker. We might train somewhere else. We might train him on the wing slightly. So we've brought in a few players. We've got a load there. Transfer business has been good. Um, we've got some coming in in future years as well when their contracts and stuff are sorted, which is nice. Um, this guy looks pretty good. Michel Mboch. Another striker. So we've, we've got the back end business, the, the inflow, the, the pipeline is looking good. Today we take on Everton. We'll, we'll squeeze a game in for the first episode as well. And see how this team performs in the Premier League. So they're going, oh, with a defensive one. Still got some of the big players in there. Digne still there. Gomez. I mean, Gomez is always good. Sandro leading the line though. Seems a bit worried for them. Season four. Uh, we're favourites. We are looking to break. We managed to sort the vision out um, before. We managed to get rid of... We'd, we'd, we'd just be challenging for... Um, no, we'd just be getting qualification for the, the Premier League... Uh, for the Champions League. That is our our, uh, our challenge from the board. It was challenge for the Premier League, but breaking that top four is really, really, really difficult. Or breaking the higher than that top four. We were about seven points off the pack. So hoping this new team, new formation... Some of the youngsters giving a bit more game time is going to really pay dividends. We are using long throw hacks because the game has a fair amount of cheese and I want to balance that cheese by giving myself a few little long throws. Emerson, forward now. Right, back into the cover king. See how he does in this Regista role. Getting very far forward. Goes for goal. Interesting, because I always thought of this, this formation with the kind of flying V as being more defensive and you have a more defensive-minded player in there. Um, but seeing a lot of Regisas knocking about and Viking Dan, one of the v White We Stream FM streamers, um, playing a lot of really good playmakers in there, getting good things from them. So we'll see how we get on with it in this season. Corner now, Mason Mount swings in, get the goal. Oh, he's at the post. Mount again, second chance. Zuma's there and Pickford saves. Come on, boys, let's beat Everton to start the season. Cover King coming forward again. Back to Zuma. Can we play it forward? There he goes. 
He is, he is like bossing, isn't he, from a DM role. But it's a good way. Playing the three central midfielders gives us a chance to, uh, as we were saying in, in the, the last season's episode, gives us a chance to play more of our midfield talent that we've got. We don't really have that many attacking midfield talent. We were playing them kind of a little bit out of position. As Emerson's in here, Bellingham takes a strike. Easy strike, though, for Pickford. So, yeah, we've got the likes of Bleezer, who's playing now. We've got Mount. We've got Graven Birch. And we've got... Um, Billy Gilmore, who are all central midfielders, playing a three central midfield formation and allows us to play more of them and give them a bit more uh, game time. See who develops best to stay in the team. And keep the cover king. Bellingham on the ball now. Out on the left, inside to Mason Mount. Mount, can he find a pass to anyone? He's going on his own. He's found the pass back to Blazer. Cover king. That, that triangle working well. Mount again, striding forward. Good to see the, the kind of the deep roll giving Mount a bit more space to run forward. As he whips his corner in. Ah, cleared again. We've been all over them. All over them 30 minutes in. So half time, nil nil. I'm actually gonna give him a bit of a shout because we've uh they've not had a shot on target <laughs> and we've not we've not scored. We've not scored again. <clears throat> they are playing defensively. We might have to tweak up. Okay, first. Oh my god. Casualties of the new formation. Uh Jude's not in the great game. Mason Mount's not either. Let's get Gravs in. Let's leave Bellingham for now. He does score, doesn't he? He does score. I could bring on Hudson Odoi if needs be. Come on, boys. Right, long throw in. Tammy nods it on. Bleez is there. Oh, just wide. Long throw again. Emerson from the left this time. Kenny clears. Grab him, Birch. Oh, I knew he could hit him. I knew he could hit him. Ravs is on corners. Swing it in, baby. Oh, he swung it all the way in and no one was there. Brilliant. Oh, and then Christensen's kicked it off. Another one. James this time. Belize is there. No, it's gone back to Reese James. Can he put it back inside? He does. Edge of the box. Cover King. Oh, he's put it wide. Come on, boys. This is a travesty. If, this, if we don't score, this is an absolute travesty. Uh, Jude's off. Hudson Doys. Oh, no. Jude's on. Esposito. We need to make the Espotato change more more regularly, although Jude's just dropped down. Emerson, space. Whips it in. Great ball. Pace right into the middle of the box. No one reacts. Oh, that's got me. He's gone all the way through and been fouled there. How is that not a pen? Two people went in on a tackle on Dembele there. The anticipation is going to be, mate. Ah, oh, our corners have been so shit. Just like we're putting him right in and no one's there. No one's there to attack the bastard ball. I hate corners. I wish you could actually, like, properly change corners. Ah, oh, full time, nil nil. What a what a weak way to start. Pulisic, you were shite. Twenty shots, eleven on target. Absolutely dominated the entire game, and we only got a draw, a bore draw. Well, I'm not going to shout them straight away, but that wasn't good enough. Goals again. Goals being the issue. So we start the season with a sultry point. Goalless Tammy Roy's Chelsea. Mm, eight matches without a game. He may be finding he's lost his place. To he came second top goal scorer last year, but the for the last period of the, of the season, didn't score a single Dickie Bird. Didn't score a single Dickie Bird. I wonder whether in this formation, actually, we just make him advance forwards. He leaves that gap. Hmm. Let us see. Let us see. We may make some slight tweaks. I'm going to keep this formation as much as possible. But yeah, maybe a Metzala with a uh, with an advanced forward may give us a bit more of a chance of getting some goals. We will see. But we'll leave that there. That's the start of the season. If you've enjoyed, smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Go back and watch the other three seasons. Season four is here. The youngsters are coming through. And uh, hopefully, we're going to dominate this season. Although that wasn't in quite the dominant performance I'd hoped for from the start. And I'll catch you back tomorrow for the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.